There are concerns that a repeat of a similar situation in which government reneges on agreements with public sector unions will reoccur in the next general elections. Prior to the 2018 elections, the NMP administration signed a Memorandum of Understanding for the Restoration of Pension for Public Officers, among other issues. Then following another sweep at the polls, public sector unions alleged that government reneged on that agreement. Public Relations Officer of PWU, Daisy Hazard, noting that such actions live on in their memory, says it is disconcerting that the labor movement in the region has been backed into a corner on most issues. Hazard explains that agreements to benefit workers are easier negotiated closer to an election. But if we look around our country, Blossom, and we see the kind of a feverish activity and work, the road constructions and projects that are happening now, it is not just within the, 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 the sort of a union construct that it seems that a country or Grenada, let's talk about Grenada, seem to be able to get the attention of politicians. Um, it seems that this is when the politicians take notice of the country. She says most union leaders thought honorable men and women were on the other side of the negotiating table. And when you sign an MOU, it is, it is an understanding, it's honorable. Um, and, and that did not happen. It was no fault of the unions that they were dealing with a bunch of rogues. And I say that unapologetically. So we are very, very mindful. But we are also mindful that as union leaders, our mandate is to be able to, to, to squeeze out, to wring out any kind of benefit that we have to poor workers. The PWU executive member says such results, as in 2018, will not dampen their fight for workers' benefits. A struggle, union struggle, has been ongoing. It is not mandated by a political cycle. And we are not asleep. We are, we, are not, we are not on our way of who we are dealing with. So we are very mindful. But are we to say, well, because we, we perceive elections have not been called in Grenada, is the union to say, well, because I perceive that perhaps we are in the election cycle, do not speak with the policymakers, do not speak with the politicians who hold ministerial portfolios. Can the union say that? Should the union be foolish enough to say that? Absolutely not. So there is a balance. I am Jara Joseph. For GBN News.